Want to make pro level videos without spending hours editing? Video AI lets you do just that. Just type a prompt, hit generate, and after a few minutes, you'll have a well edited video without the knowledge of editing. Here's what we'll be covering in today's video. Turning a prompt into a generated video, going through the editing aspects of NVIDIA, all of the important features and add-ons to help with workflow, and finally, the plans and pricing towards the end of the video. So by the end of this video, you'll learn how to use NVIDIA to its full potential, and hopefully decide whether or not this this AI tool is worth your time. If you wanted to follow along with me, I'll leave a link in the description which will take you to the sign up page where you can create an account. Then you'll be taken to the dashboard where you can start to generate your video. So what we can do is simply paste in our script in this area here. But what I like to do is go to the workflows area where you have a huge list of all types of different workflows. For this video, I would like to create an ad for a burger. So what I can do is go to the create ad and marketing videos area and choose this workflow here and then I can paste in my prompt which you can get from either chat GPT or simply just write yourself so the prompt is create an ad for a burger show the process of it being made with short narrations on each process and make the speaker male and energetic at the top here we can choose the length of the video and how fast the video will be and whether or not it's for YouTube so I'll keep these settings as shown and then there's some other little tabs here that you can choose to add if you really want to be specific with your video for example I can choose the type of music that I would like in the background so I would like the background music to be relaxed and slow and of course if you wanted to add the other ones you can for the most part I'm pretty happy with this so what I can do is click continue and then it's generated a workflow which we can of course use to create a video next I'll simply click the generate a video button then after analyzing our prompt we then get a couple more questions to better refine our video for example the audience the media pace and the platform that this video will be uploaded to. You can also choose between stock media or generative media. I will keep it on generative because it is better in my opinion. Once you've selected your settings, you can then click continue. Then after a few minutes, NVIDIA will render your video for you to be able to edit and watch. Then once it has rendered, we can now watch our video. Sizzle alert. Watch your dream burger come to life. Toasted bun meets juicy patty. Cheese cascade. Fresh toppings. Secret sauce. Your perfect burger awaits. So the video is really good considering it is just from a single prompt. Again, this is without editing anything, so this does look good. What I'll do is I'll also show you another example from another prompt that I also used as well. So based on the two videos, it really depends on what prompt you do put in, but there's no need to stress because again, we can edit all of this and change anything we'd like within this video. For example, within my video, there wasn't any subtitles. So what I can do is go to the command bar area and type add subtitles and highlight the word being said. And then I simply click generate. And then after not even a couple seconds, it is now subtitled our whole video and highlighted each word that is being said. So I'll show you now what it looks like. Toasted bun meets juicy patty, cheese cascade, fresh toppings, secret sauce. Your perfect burger awaits. So from a simple command, it is now subtitled our whole video. And this command area can edit anything within your video. So you can change the background music, the voiceover, and you can even change the language of the video. For example, I can type make the video Spanish along with the subtitles and then click generate. And then after a couple of seconds, it is now translated our whole video from English to Spanish. Here's an example. So I'm not fluent with Spanish. However, this does sound really good for a translation. So that is only half of what you can do with the editing. I do prefer to use the command area because it is a lot more easier. However, if you wanted to manually edit your video, what you can do is click the edit button here, which will allow you to manually edit your clips. For example, if we look at the timeline up here, we can go through each of the clips and choose to change them if we would like. So we can go with generative media, stock media, 
media or even upload our own media if you want. So if I wanted to change this clip, I can click on generative media and then I can go click generate new media and then I can describe the scene that I'd like for this clip and click generate a clip. It is that simple. Not only that, you can also change the music within the video as well as the script. So if you weren't happy with the subtitles or you wanted to change what the voiceover said, you can change it here. And then in the settings area, you have some presets that you can change. So you have the overlay, transition, subtitle and text presets. If you wanted to change the subtitles, you can simply click on this and choose between the ones listed. You also have the master volume area where you can do some basic adjustments to your audio. So when it comes to editing with NVIDIA AI, the sky is your limit, meaning that you can change anything that you'd like either manually or you can use their AI assistance by using the command area, which then will allow you to create perfect video for your content creation. Another feature that I would like to mention is that you can actually clone your own voice and use it within your voiceovers for your videos. In order to clone your own voice, what I can do is go to the top left three bars and then click on voices. And as you can see, I already have cloned my own voice, which is Jack's voice. But if you wanted to clone your own voice, you can simply click add voice and then you follow the instructions. So you do need to submit a 30 second recording of yourself mentioning that you give permission to NVIDIA to use your voice of course the only requirement that you would need is to have a high quality mic that being said you do not have to have the best microphone in the world just enough for it to be clear once you've recorded it you can then drag and drop it here and then you'll have your own cloned voice to narrate your videos so to use your cloned voice you simply go to the command bar area and type in the command replace the voiceover with jack's voice of course whatever you named your voice is what you would replace jack's with then you can click generate then after not even a minute it is now now replace the AI voice with my own cloned voice. So this is what it sounds like. Toasted bun meets juicy patty, cheese cascade, fresh toppings, secret sauce. As you can hear, it does sound very similar to my voice. This is a really good clone considering all it took was a 30 second voice clip. If you were happy with your end result, what you can do is click the download button and then click download video. And then you can fill out this information here. In order to get rid of the watermark and the NVIDIA AI branding, you do have to have a paid plan, which I will get into right after this segment. And then I'll choose the 1080p download resolution, which is the best quality, then click continue. And then once it has rendered, I can then download the video and upload this content to wherever I would like. So we can now move on to the plans area. As you can see, there is four plans available. So there is the free plan, the plus plan, the max plan, and the generative plan. The plans are pretty self-explanatory. Of course, if you just signed up, you will be starting on the free plan. So you are very limited to what you can do. However, upgrading to the plus or max plan definitely allows you to start really using this AI tool. Just upgrading to the plus plan allows you to remove all all of the watermarks, which is a good reason to upgrade just in itself. It also allows you to clone your voice twice and you get up to 50 AI minutes and ATI stock footage. The max plan is a huge upgrade from the plus plan. You do get 200 AI minutes instead of 50 and 320 I stock instead of 80. So you get a lot more there. However, you only do get 60 seconds of generative credits opposed to zero with the plus plan. 60 seconds isn't a lot. However, you can still obviously make a couple videos out of that. But the best plan, of course, is the generative plan where you get the same amount of AI minutes and I stock footage. However, instead of 60 seconds of generative credits, you get 15 whole minutes of generative credits, which is a huge upgrade. And of course, you'd expect that from the best plan. Within the paid plans, you can also choose to add add-ons. So instead of having to get the generative plan for more generative credits, you can simply add this on to, for example, the plus plan. So if you were interested in a plan, I'll definitely recommend going with the yearly option because you do save 20% off which in time definitely does add up but of course based on your situation and what you think is best definitely make sure to do your own research in what plan you think is the best for your situation and with all of that being said hopefully you've enjoyed my video ai tutorial slash review this ai tool is really good for quick and easy content creation if you don't have any editing knowledge i would highly recommend giving video ai a chance considering it does most of the work for you and all it takes is a simple prompt plus with all the workflows available and the plans coming at a reasonable price it's almost a no-brainer to at least see if NVIDIA is right for you all of the relevant information will be provided in the description box so definitely make sure to check that all out thanks a lot for watching my video and I hope to see you in the next one